Another poem that we are going to start today with is for Anne Gregory, written by W. B. Yeats, Class 10, CBSE English. William Butler Yeats, 1865 to 1939, was an Irish poet, dramatist, and writer who won a Nobel Prize for Literature. His best works, acknowledged by all, were written after he received the Nobel Prize. He also wrote the introduction to Tagore's famous poem, Gitanjali. Synopsis In this poem, Yeats expounds his belief that God alone loves each one of us for what we are, for our inner selves, not for our pretty face or our handsome figure. Therefore, the poet believes that rarely are human beings able to love another for their inner beauty. Men mostly love a woman's hair, its color, its soft texture or her eyes, nose or chin, her physical beauty. Beauty after all is ephemeral, it's gone in a few years. Inner beauty of any person, man or woman, lies in the person's good nature in what he or she does. After all, handsome is that handsome does. You might have heard about. Guess who's this? Julia Roberts, the classic modern pretty woman. Do you fancy chestnut colored hair? Or yellow hair? Black hair? Lustrous black hair covering her pretty ears? When we talk about ramparts, the poet means something which protects, usually used as the ramparts of a fort. A sultry blonde Beauty comes in all sizes and shapes, my friends. No wonder Shakespeare said, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Some women fancy carrot colored or candy floss colored hair. Pink is pretty, you think so? Okay, let's start the poem now, stanza one. Never shall a young man thrown into despair by those great honey colored ramparts at your ear Love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair. But I can get a hair dye and set such a color there, brown or black or carrot, that young men in despair may love me for myself alone and not my yellow hair. Explanation is a woman wants men to look at her, crave for her and love her just for herself, not for her hair or any of the other physical assets. She can easily dye her hair any color she fancies. So what she's really craving for is that men should love her for herself, for her inner self. Stanza 3 I heard an old religious man but yesternight declare that he has found a text to prove that only God, my dear, could love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair. So the conclusion is the poet reiterates that we should love a person not for her external features but for her inner beauty, her actions and her inner qualities. That brings us to the end of our session of poems. This shall be followed by supplementary lessons that we shall discuss as we go along. Thank you very much.